Ugh. Did you just get thrown out of a plate glass window? Uh, no. I work at the gun company across the road. Someone just got thrown out of your apartment window. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. I was actually about to call you about something else, but now I'm more interested in this. Well, try to move on. What did you need? My name is Selena Delgado. My boss, Rook, says you're some kind of freelance spy. I might have a job for you. Want to come up? Sure. Buzz me in. Congratulations on purchasing your new Bullfrog brand Hyper Trousers. Caution on a maximum strength jump may shatter glass ceilings, windows, and children. Outdoor use only. Hmm. Hello, y'all. It's Deco Giver. I'm back with a new indie game called Gunpoint. It was on sale on Steam, and from the trailer that was on there, it looked pretty interesting. As far as I can tell, you're basically a freelance spy, as it says, but you are framed for murder, and it's your job to, well, basically <laughs> solve, solve the murder and clear your name. I did play a little bit of this game beforehand because I want—I had no idea what was what you'd had to do in this, so I wanted to play a little bit so I could, you know, figure it out. And from the first, I think it was like three missions that I did, it's pretty fun. So I wanted to make some videos on it. Now let's see what hey, let's see what we got here. Conway, this is Melina Rook. Selena Delgado worked for me. Do you have time to talk? I didn't kill her. I know. I just watched the footage. You walked right in front of the security camera on your way to Selena's office after the shots were fired. But the East Point, East Point police won't look beyond an easy conviction. That footage puts you at the scene and I have to turn it over to them. Why do you care? Celine was a friend. I want her real killer caught. In fact, I want him dead. But once he's in a jail cell, that becomes simpler to achieve. I have to hand the footage over if I have to... I have to hand that footage over if I have it. Let's make sure I don't have it. I've wiped my copy, but my camera feeds get backed up to a data centers in five different off-site locations. If you can wipe them all, you're in the clear, and the police will have to find the real killer. That sounds fairly wise. Head to DataSec facility at Port Heath. I'll make sure the front door is open. But you'll have to take it from there. All right. Caught on camera. The footage of the murder of you at the murder scene has been automatically backed up to five different locations. This is the closest. Get there. Wipe the data. And I get paid. 30 bucks. Eh, doesn't seem too bad. On the top floor of this building, there's a bank of servers with a computer nearby. If you can get to that, you can wipe the evidence that you were at our offices when Selena was killed. How do I get in? 
I've had one of our tech guys open the front door for you. Their electrical systems are hackable from there, but for obvious reasons, the servers are not. Got it. Now, can I... Can I lower the music volume just a little bit? There we go. I want... I like the music. I like, I like this kind of music, but... A little loud. There we go. Okay, so hold down the left mouse button to aim a jump in the air. It takes a moment to charge up to full strength. You can always adjust the strength by moving the mouse. Climb up the moon. Now, I have already done this mission and a couple others after it. So there is a an extra thing there. Come on, let's go. And now to get the heck out of here. Now, I could have just jumped through that plate glass and that would have saved a little bit of time, but the quieter you are, the more points you get. See? No violence, no witnesses, no noise. And I got an upgrade point. Good job. Uh, walking through already open doors is my specialty. Our feeds are backed up at four more facilities. The others are slightly better guarded, but nothing too taxing. I'll give you the addresses in order of security, since, frankly, I have no idea how good you are. Uh, thanks for giving my personal crisis a difficulty curve. Anytime. You'll see a mission briefing before a job on Proudmore Drive. Take it. Alright. Now I've got two upgrade points. Let's see. Can either increase the jump strength, the charge time, charge for full strength, jump more quickly. I think I'm gonna give one to each. And then we'll go on to the next mission. The Westfield facility has better security. My guy can open the front door for you, but the door to the server room is secure. Two guards work t working tonight. Whoever's in the server room can probably open the door. So get him to do it for you. Isn't that kind of the opposite of a guard's job? It is. But these guys spend more time dealing with electrical faults than professional spies. It shouldn't be hard to outwit them. Alright. Guards will shoot on sight. The cursor turns red in areas guards can see. Jump on a guard to pin him to the ground. Now, I can technically punch him and kill him until he's... <laughs> but, you know. Why do that? Now, there should be... Yeah, there it is. Extra data. I don't know what the extra data is going to be used for, but hey, whatever. Nice. Non lethal ninja. <laughs> that in and of itself kind of reminds me of, um, oh, Hitman. God, I loved that series when it first came out. Technically, some of the last games have been pretty good too, but <sighs> it was so fun. And I got another upgrade point. To get 
to into Ellis Street facility, you'll need to rewire the building's electronics. If you don't have a crosslink, buy one. All right, so crosslink, rewire electronic devices. Now, this is actually as far as I got when I first tested it. So I actually only did two missions, uh, unless you can count the first one. So this will be the new one. All right. Oh, wait, no. Let's go back. Missions. And after this, I'll probably go ahead and stop recording. But let's see. I can't open the server room door on Ellis Street. And there are no guards working tonight. You'll have to do it yourself. Ow. Any building wired in the last 20 years puts everything on a single power grid. The way things are connected is all handled in software. And software can be hacked. Huh. That kind of reminds me of, um... Oh, damn, I can't remember the name of that game. Uh, I'll put it down on the bottom of the screen. <laughs> if you've got a crosslink, you can see all the connections and drag them around to work however you want. Make a light switch, open a door, whatever. What actually is a crosslink? Uh, that doesn't seem like a great security feature. <laughs> It's not. Anyone who's actually expecting a hacker puts all their important stuff on an isolated circuit. The data here is backed up of a backup of a backup. They're more worried about the hard drive failures than spies. Got it. All right. So we can do the mouse wheel. Interesting. And there doesn't appear to be anyone here. So. Oh, oh, there's another one. Okay, I'll get that. So, I should be able to do this to this. And there we go. Wow, that was kind of simple. No, wrong one. Copy and close. I've ever, I've, I should actually probably look at that. I've never read any of that. I've just copied it and moved on because I'm trying to do it quickly here. Gentleman Ghost Ninja. I was a little slow on that one, but oh well. All right. But what I'm going to do is I am going to end the episode here. I'm trying to keep this short. If y'all want me to do them longer, I will, but... It's just a little indie game. I am enjoying it. And I will probably do at least a couple more episodes of this. If y'all want me to do more, if you want me to, to turn it into a longer series, I will, of course. But for now, like I said, I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to thank y'all for watching. I'm going to hope to see y'all again. Remember, if you did like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment. It lets me know that y'all are enjoying the videos that I make for you and want to see more. However, like I said, thanks for watching. Later, y'all.